Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and this is our seventh video on the React with Progressive Web App. So in this video, we are going to learn about how we can fetch the data from the API about user and show on our user's route. So first of all, let's check out the points of this video. So this is our major task, user listing on the user route. Then uh, we will add the user route to the cache, all right? Why we needed that? Okay, so let's clear this point first of all. So in the previous video, uh, if you watch this video, then you maybe remember that we made our website accessible without internet, right? So let's check it out how we did that. Let's go on uh, application, make it offline. And now we don't have any internet access. So now you can see that we are still able to access our website, right? But if I just uh, go on the user's page and then make it refresh, then it's not working. The reason is because we did not cache the user's route yet, right? So what routes we are just cached, here you can see that we did the all other things like bundle files and all and root also, but we did not uh, cache the uh, user's route. So we have to do it, then we, have, then we will call the fetch API and uh, we will add the react bootstrap table so that we can just uh, make a style within minimal CSS. Even we don't need to write any CSS if we are using the react bootstrap table in case of listing, all right? And then we will uh, render the user's listing, great? So now, first of all, let's find the solution of this case. I'm just going to search this record.js file or you can say that the SW and just simply write here users right and that's it that's the solution of our problem now let's come on application and uh, unregister this case right now let's come on uh, just okay so first of all for a moment because we clean the service worker so that we have to make it online let's try to access it on the online right now you can just see that this is working fine and user space is also working fine. Great. Let's go on a offline mode now. And like this. And this is working, working fine in the offline mode also. All right. So we done our first task. Now let's uh, fetch the API data. So this is our API URL. This is uh, open source API and you can also use it in free of charge. See, this is the json right so now let's use it in our project so this is the url and we have it so let's go on the src then users route here and first of all we have to import the two things one is use state then use effect all right and uh, define some const let's say const data and uh, set data and this is a destructuring of the use state and by default its value is blank array great now just use effect and uh, it should be called only once that's why i'm just going to add it the blank array and now let's define the let url and url is here now let's try to fetch it. One more thing that I just want to mention in this video that uh, uh, we already just make the user space cache. That's why if we just want to make any change of on the users dot uh, js file, then we must have to hard refresh our page. Hard refresh means uh, you can just make it hard refresh from here, right? Or you can use a shift control R. And I already told you because this is due to the caching the file and in the next video I am just going to make a special video on in this case we will check that if we have the internet then we will fetch the data from the server and if we don't have the internet we will fetch the data from the cache but now in the case we are, we are uh, fetching the data only from the uh, cache file that's why we have to just make it hard refresh when we just going to make any change in case of users file so now let's go it now use here fetch api and just write here url 
and we know that it's basically return a promise so we can just simply use like this and uh, here let's get a variable response and response let's convert in the json format and still we need know that this is gonna return again a promise because we convert in the json format then uh, we can just put here result okay let's put it here and now make it console dot wall result right okay so we can do one more thing like set data uh, in a states data we can just take the result here right and let's see this is working fine then we will just uh, use the react bootstrap is right so i'm just going to here and make it a hard refresh yeah it's not working it's not fetching the um, fresh data okay because we are on offline mode right so just make it online now just come on the console and now you can see that we have the fresh data here so we get this data in the state also that's great now let's open the react bootstrap react bootstrap table let's go on a official website and there is a lots of example you can just put anything from here i'm just going to put here a simple one so let's get this one okay great and simply paste it here now we have to import the user table so because we don't have imported yet so just simply write here import something from react bootstrap and just write here table all right great so now let's see what we are getting here okay so we have this is dummy data so now let's remove this dummy data from a moment and here we can use the map function to get the data from the state right so just simply use here data dot map we can take an arrow function here right and let's take any variable like item and anything else whatever you want just we now now you will see that uh, this data will you know gonna uh, repeat itself by 10 time okay yes but uh, now let's put the dynamic keys here so just right here okay we can just put here id name and uh, let's put the email address and as well as address great and now let's put here simply item dot id and let's check what kind of data we have then we can use a username okay we have the name also that's great just simply write here item dot name we need two more keys email so it should be item dot email right and now let's go for last one address so for the address we can use the address and any street key or whatever just want to put i'm just going to put a street with the address right so let's use here simply uh, item dot address dot street right come back here make it hard refresh and you can see that we got the dynamic data right so as i told you uh, even for uh, every time we need to make a hard refresh here because we are uh, if when we are just normal refreshing the data we are just getting the data from the service worker right so that we have to make it uh, hard refresh every time and get the data and in the next video we will see that we will use only these cache data which is you can see that 
when we don't have any internet connection if we have the internet connection then we will directly fetch the data from the online server so thanks for watching this video please subscribe our channel and like this video again if you still have any kind of query you can ask me in the comment box bye bye take care